Scar. Use that symbol up there, so so. Probably just keep click on it. Or, Can I click on it? Yeah. So, Mr. Red, we've had a fun five, ten minutes trying to figure this out, but we're up and running. Oh, yes. So you look at me. Right, ah, yeah, let's just turn this on. There we go. We got this. We got this. All right. We're good. We're good. Uh, so, now we're facing those six feet apart, of course. Yes. Social distance. Is done. So, I thought this would be a great chance. The reason why we're doing this on Zoom versus like a regular podcast method, besides the fact that I have time. I thought it'd be really cool to go through some film outside of this and just kind of like go through your years as an OMS. Oh, so, boy. But, I feel like that's going to be like the cherry on the top at the end. We'll make it quick, we'll make it fast, and we got to in and out. But I kind of want to go through years leading up to your last year. So for those of you guys who do not know, this is Red Rotor. He is in his last what, week or two? Yeah, so uh, this is last week of class and then next week's finals. So I'll be done after Wednesday next week. And then I graduate Saturday, May 9th, or Sunday, May 9th. So, yeah, we're at the end. It is very attainable. It's crazy. Uh, so, I don't know if you look at the page, but so let's take it through. How do you feel like you've grown over the years? You've been on the team for what, four years, five years? Four years, yep, four years. Um, so, how have I grown as like a this in general as a person or like let's start with wrestling. How's wrestling for you? Oh, it's uh, so much like um so like when I came in here, I was I was a very average, very average high school wrestler, division three, uh from Monroeville, Ohio. Um and just like coming here, uh just like the coaching was like I got good coaching in high school, but um, on the tech, technical side of things, when I came here, it was so much better. Like, I mean, coming in, I had Kyle Quiet, two-time national champion, um, great guy to learn top stuff on, top position. And just over the years, my top wrestling has got a lot better. Um, my neutral stuff's got a lot better. Uh, thanks to guys like you, Ivan. Um, yeah, man. Uh, just technical stuff. I have, there's so much out there. Uh, there's so much to learn, honestly, you know, there is just so much technical sides, like mm -hmm. developing things like, a like I never took head inside signals when I came here and that's, you know, developing that shot was way better. Cause before that I was a double leg and a high crotch guy. Mm -hmm. So developing that, um, single in, head inside single is way it's a good, it's a good change up. Um, it's a high percentage shot for sure. Yes, exactly. So that was like probably one of my biggest things is trying to develop the inside single. Um, and I can hit that both sides pretty well, I feel like. So, and then like this year, like Fred front Hudlock stuff, Fred Hudlock, um, you taught us a lot of good stuff and I really enjoyed that. And that two head, two on one stuff. Um, I always liked two on one, but I uh, really, Kyle, you know, I, with Kyle, he wasn't, but you, Ivan, are way more, you got some really good stuff. I really yeah, like that. Yeah. Um, the best, you blew, you absolutely blew my mind when we were doing uh, two on one and the guy posts on the head, because that's what I love. I love posting on the head. If yeah. he gets a two on one, you absolutely blew my mind when you told me all you have to do is move your head to the other side. I'm like, <laughs> what? I'm just like, are you kidding me? Like this, that is so simple, but it was like, okay, this completely changes. Like this, that was a game changer. Mm -hmm. I was hoping to like hit it in a match, actually get in that position in a match, but right. that was awesome, man. I remember that. I'll teach that to my son or whatever, my kids. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. Yeah, yeah. And it just stunk because we only had three competitions this yeah. year. And I was like, I felt like I could have definitely want, I wanted to get in that situation, you know, but anyways, so that's, like you're almost driving for it, right? yeah, I'm just like, yeah, let's come on, give me that arm, man. Let's go. But, that was awesome, man. Yeah. So how do you feel like you've grown over the years? Like, how do you feel like you've 
you feel like you don't as a, I guess as a, an adult person, who is compressing your mind? Um, it definitely, definitely, definitely matured mentally. Um, coming in, I was a, I was a good student in high school, but good, like being a good student, student in high school and is nothing like in a public school system. Like I'm not, Hey, I'm public school. I shouldn't say that, but I love Monroeville. Monroeville is a, Monroeville is a great school, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, coming in and doing mechanical engineering. And that is, you know, that is a degree, you know, that is a hard degree. Um, yeah. Okay. 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 But anyways, um, like, yeah, it was a good high school, but anyways, coming into college, um, it was really, uh, it was really eye-opening. Um, I learned a lot time management wise. Um, mm -hmm. I really didn't know how to study, how to prepare. Um, I had a real rough, real rough few years, um, but I really kind of kicked it in the high gear over uh, like the, over my junior year, I had a real good success, like academically. And in the senior year, I've done a lot better. Um, this, this learn how to manage your time is a very important aspect. And yes, exactly. And I was lucky I had a, I had a good support group. Um, I had a root, my roommate freshman year, uh, Brett Lane. I credit a lot of my success academically to him. Uh, he used to wrestle for two years here. Um, and he still, still goes here academically, but uh, he was an engineer um, freshman. Oh yeah, we, I live with him right now off campus. So yeah, yeah, yeah. He's 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 my, he's probably my best friend on campus. So yeah, he's my he's my man, and uh, he's just a super nice dude, man. But uh, he was a he's a brainiac. Um, he's got like a four point all through. Yeah, so like he was pretty invaluable as a, like a roommate. Like it was super nice. Uh, honestly, I don't know if I would have made it through. I might have changed majors if it wasn't for Brett Lane, like, or something would have happened. I don't know, but I did, I did, and that was. Yes, I got a job. Um, it's, oh, it's, yeah, I don't, it's super secret. No, <laughs> but uh, it's it's called Bowen Engineering, uh, not like the people that build planes, unfortunately, but, but. Uh, they do uh, commercial construction, um, so they build uh, like wind turbines, uh, foundations, and stuff like that. And they do like uh, sewer plants, power plants, piping. It's a big concrete, a lot of concrete work. So honestly, it's kind of weird. Um, just mention this: like I am a mechanical engineering major, but that work, that line of work that I'm doing, is kind of more on the civil side of things. But it, but that's what's nice though, like I say like mechanical, like like coming here, like going through the process, picking a major, mechanical is definitely like the most diverse out of all the engineering, if that makes sense. Yeah, okay. So like if you get a mechanical degree, like you can like, there's people working for you all over the place. It's not just, you're not just going to work on mechanical stuff. Like you can go work like, like uh, construction stuff or like uh, very universal. yeah, very universal. And I'm, yeah, it's a good industry to get into. So I'm very happy. Um, I'm going to be traveling a lot, moving around, hopefully get some... Yeah, <laughs> quite a bit, <laughs> but you know, it's cool. And yeah, like if you're traveling too, like for most companies, uh, you know, I get, I get paid to travel basically, you know, like I get like a, I get like a living account basically every week for DNM. Yep. And stuff like it is nice nice tax-free too usually tax -free yeah makes yes yes a little extra change in the pocket but yeah but yeah i'm very excited about that um say so we'll start that in a few weeks and see where life takes me so you're not waiting at all right you're waiting like you're graduating what, may? may 9th and i get two weeks off basically and then 24th is my first day and i'm working in columbus for a few weeks hopefully and then shipping out somewhere else so yeah it's yeah it's crazy um i don't know like it's like crazy to think i gotta be a i gotta be adult in like right. two weeks but two weeks, 
And like, I know, like I said, I matured like mentally, but at heart, I'm still kind of a child, I think. Who doesn't want to be a child in their life? So like, it's not like that's going to change in two weeks, but it's still like going to be weird. Just like four years gone by so quick. And yeah, it's just been, it's been a real memorable four years. You know, obviously um, our generation or this, yeah, this class has to live through like COVID, which is like it's crazy. We'll be tired talking about this pandemic for like, the rest of our lives like you know what i'm saying like it'll, yeah or something like you know like we'll be telling our grandkids like yeah i survived covid like 2021 you know which is you know but yeah it's, it's crazy that we went through this you know and we're still going through it i guess but yeah it's not over exactly so so we gotta stay six feet apart right now so so yeah we're definitely six yeah <laughs> So what's some advice you have for some freshmen? Uh, like freshman wrestlers? Yeah, freshman freshmen, like a freshman wrestler coming in. You know, they're going to come in, not have to see the catch, and then they're going to film this video and be like, what weight is this? I just, like, you just got to put in the work. You got to put your head down. Um, so can I talk about, like, how I decided to wrestle? Like, well, not at the beginning, but decided to go college route, like when I decided to go college. So like I've been thinking about this and like, honestly, I decided to wrestle in college the minute I got knocked out of districts my senior year. Like legitly before I got off the mat, I'm just like, so like, like I said, I was a pretty mediocre wrestler. I qualified for districts twice. Um, I went two and out twice and that was real heartbroken because I actually beat some guys that qualified that year. Uh, it beat some state qualifiers, but I didn't, was not my, not my tournament. I wasn't ready, whatever. It, it happened. I'm not trying to make excuses for it, whatever. But uh, after I got knocked out the second time, um, I was like, you know, I got a lot of, I feel like I have a lot left in the tank, like so much potential. Like I just like, I know I could do, I could just be such a better wrestler, you know, and I literally walked off Matt, um, my assistant coach, uh, gave me, a gave me a hug. And I told him like, you know, if I'm not going to be a, you know, a state placers or state qualifier, maybe I can be like an all American or something like that in college. And I literally told him that not knowing how kind of naive that is because being an all American in college is so hard and there's so much work. And I know you can contest that, you know, yeah. Um, but you know, I get, but still at the bottom line is I had a lot in the tank. I felt like, and a lot of what yeah, what is, yes, exactly. Just like we were talking about before this call and mm -hmm. anyways, my, you know, but coming in freshman year, I really, I kind of had a chip on my shoulder a little bit. Cause like, I knew I wasn't coming in. Like I was coming in with guys that placed at the state tournament, you know, state champion cash Thompson, you know, like. I just felt like I had a lot to prove. Right. And I feel like that's what, if you can just get that chip on your shoulder and it really doesn't matter what you did in high school. And that's what I kind of put in my head kind of like, it wasn't putting me down, but I'm like, you know, like we're all coming in probably at this, I mean, maybe a little bit different technique wise and stuff, but we're all starting the same step here, you know? Yeah. So I'm like, you know, just get a chip on your shoulder, work hard. Um, be organized. Uh, don't do what I did starting off. Um, really try to focus. Um, find yourself some good, good, good like, group of friends. Like I, I, like I said, I had Brett Lane, had the guys on the wrestling team. Um, and I didn't make strangers of those guys. You know, I, I really became brothers with those guys. And those guys, I contribute a lot of success to the people that are around me, you know. Yes, exactly. So it is a team, like we are a team, and some of the, I said, I, I got all my friends are on the wrestling team, really, like, all, yeah. the, it, it's just, it, yes, exactly, and it's just, it's so nice, and, you know, that's why, I, and that's another reason why I wanted to wrestle in college, is because I knew if I was a part of a team, I, you know, it's so nice, because you got, you all got something in common, right, like, when you're on a team, and especially wrestling, when you're, like, 
you know, suffering together and stuff like that. And yeah, it's exactly, you know, just, you know, you know, talking about how much you hate cutting weight and stuff like that, or any wrestlers, every wrestling conversation ever is like, Oh, how do you cut weight? And then this guy's got, you know, Oh, you know, I eat this, this and that, or, you know, like, Oh, I, you know, put on five sweatshirts and then, you know, put in some, skittles or something in my sour skittles and spit or yes yes that stuff don't last that, yeah that stuff doesn't work in college but you know we all had we all had our experiences down the line and you know it's always fun to share that kind of stuff you know you know yeah yeah <laughs> yeah but so I don't be scared. Don't be scared of nobody. Um, it, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like I said, I had a chip in my shoulder. Um, uh, you know, I wasn't scared to wrestle anybody. Uh, it, it can be intimidating. Um, like my freshman year, we had a guy, um, Gavin Nelson was his name. He was a national qualifier my, my freshman year, his senior year. Um, 157 pounder uh he could bench he was literally a tree stub uh he could he could bench like 300 plus pounds he was he was an intimidating dude like I'm not gonna lie like he was a nice kid he was a mechanical engineering major um but he, you know he you know you look at the guy and you're like yeah this guy is tough you know and he is solid and he he was a hard kid to wrestle with for sure. And, you know, and he definitely got me probably every time, you know, so like, I, I don't know if I ever took him down in practice or anything, but yes, that's, you know, that's part of the process. Um, you know, getting your butt kicked is you got to look at the positive side of everything, you know, and if you had a rough practice or you, you know, you're getting your butt kicked, I mean, I'm sorry, but I think you learn, you probably learn a little bit more than, when you are like you're winning you know like yeah exactly so like yeah I agree with that completely and that's something I I had to learn you know I, I think I had that pretty down in college but in high school you know you, losing and losing positions I mean it's not yeah exactly in practice just you gotta let it out you know just you say you gotta try things you know and put yourself in positions and you gotta like work on these things so he said, don't be scared. Uh, you know, I know here uh, we got a great culture going right now with these guys here, these upperclassmen. I mean, they're, they're great. You know, they're, they're approachable. They're nice. And, you know, if you ask them questions, I know like to the freshmen, you know, if you're a freshman, you know, Hey, if you want to like, you want to wrestle, like ask one of these guys, you know, what, ask one of your upperclassmen, you know, and, you know, and, you know, like, uh, Cash Thompson was the first person I ever wrestled here. And uh, I remember going with him a little bit, you know, and, you know, I was like, Cash is like a state, he was a state champion coming out of high school. He, yes, yes. And I was, you know, exactly. And I wasn't afraid of him. I was not, I come from a high school that had like five kids on the team. So like, sometimes I did wrestle the heavyweight, you know, like, you just like, you know, to get somebody, you know, we, so, you know, just like, you know, like size, you know, it matters. I mean, it is a factor, but you can, you can choose not to make it a factor. I feel like too, you know what I'm saying? Like just, yeah. just go out there and wrestle. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So I said, yeah, just, yeah, just don't be afraid. Come in, you know, um, really make yourself acquainted with the team um, and make sure you ask questions and, yeah, and you know, exact, you know. Yeah. This year in particular has been, has a unique challenge facing for COVID. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And like, you're the last of the Mohicans, right? You're the last senior on the team. Everyone else, because of COVID, they focused on things like they probably need attention. Everyone else is doing things in their best interest, which is great. And we're happy for them. A lot of those guys shout out to other seniors. Yeah. Still great contact with them. Mm -hmm. Still friends with them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's not Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, Skylar, you're my boys. Yep. So, like, last thing that's not Now, 
describe what challenges you feel like this class is facing, unique from any other class before or probably after. Because you guys probably had the most taking it out of it. Yeah, so it definitely was difficult, um, especially like, because like last year, um, obviously we got, we had the entire season pretty much last year, except for nationals, mm -hmm. right? So I felt, I'm for, you know, I, you know, I felt bad for the guys that qualify, especially Seth Transu, um, shout out to that kid. Um, he was having the best year of his career. Um, I mean, the way he was wrestling that year, I, he was definitely an all American. If not, I mean, I would not have been surprised to see that man on the top of the podium. Um, that was just heartbreaking for me. And then like cash and chase there also. Um, but for that to be canceled, uh, when it first got canceled, it's like, okay, like this, you know, really stinks. You know, we get sent home for school. That really was weird. We finished, right. we were like, we were, we were, taking college classes. I was taking engineering classes too, on top of that. Mm -hmm. Engineering classes yeah, for like, a, which is hard enough as is, yeah. And now I'm taking it back home, you know, online, and, online you know, and it, it worked out, honestly, it was all right. Like I, you know, it was, it, yeah, it, it was something I had to adapt to. Um, Cause it's really easy when you're at home to like just slack off. Um, luckily I had uh, like a nice space um, at my family's business there, and I had a nice office space. So it was always myself. I would go there. I nice sat. I sat like I set up a time frame, like you know, one to five or whatever. I'm going to sit down and watch my videos, you know, and do my homework, and then you know, finish that off semester, and then you're into the summer, and then you know, in the summertime, uh, you know, I, I personally I figured this stuff would be over with by the time we got back senior year so like you know I get I got an internship I was out in Missouri for a while um, but I was training you know I was going to the gym after work every day and you know and I was working towards having a real good solid you know senior year this year you know and go you know wrestling a lot of matches you know and doing a full season well you know come time it's it's, you know, like, it's not really gotten any better. If anything, it's got worse, I think. I believe, if I remember right, from the beginning of the year. And we have to go through protocols. And and then, you know, you know, you know and honestly, we weren't too sure that we would have a season this year or right. anything. So, like, yeah. so how was that? that was pretty, it was pretty, dis it was pretty heartbreaking, honestly, for me. Because um, I did put in a lot of time. Um, but at the same time, like, I knew I was just going to, I, you know, I, I made a promise. Like I, I made a, like I told my high school coach back in the day, I was going to try to be like, you know, the best wrestler I could be in college. Mm -hmm. I really just like, I kind of like thought back to that. Um, and I was like, you know, no matter what, I'm like, I'm to this to the end of the line. Cause you put in, you put in three years, you know, three and a half years. And it's like, why it's like, why pull up? And that, that's how I was, you know, and, you know, and I'm, there's a lot of guys that didn't think it like that. Like it was just, you know, like this and everything's got, they got their priorities and that's all right. You know, that's life, you know, and that's your choice, you know, but I was committed to finishing this thing to the line, to the end of the line there. And, you know, luckily, you know, you know, we practiced and, you know, that kind of got long, you know, that was hard because we were just practicing for half the year, you know, basically. And with, we weren't sure we were going to even wrestle, you know, it seemed like, and luckily I kind of like practice. Um, probably the only person you'll ever hear say that, but I kind of like having like a mental break during the day. Um, I just, you know, I like being active, so whatever. And then we found out we had three, three competitions, which is like, you know, like, or what, you know, we're going to have dual, or, you know, only dual meets, you know, no tournaments. And it's like, and I was like, yeah, you know, at least I got something, you know, like yeah. maybe there's a chance, you know, um, you know, maybe I can win a starting job or something and maybe I can, you know, win a varsity, you know, get it out of varsity win or whatever, you know, and right. just, you know, something to strive towards. Something to strive towards. Um, I really didn't know, like, 
I didn't know if they were going to do like academic all Americans. That was one of my goals this year was trying to be an academic all American at least. I really want to try to do that. I don't know. I just, do you know if they like just said no to that or like, Really? Okay. Well, then I'm not going to say anything, but okay. Fair enough. But anyways, you know, and yeah, I was a three-time letter winner too. So I was like, you know, let's see if I can letter or whatever. And that really didn't matter, but that was like a side, you know, in the back of my head, I'm like, eh, you know, fourth year wouldn't be bad. Why not? And, you know, and yeah, exactly. And, and I found a lot of comfort, you know, it's, I take, you know, I take a lot of pride um, trying to talk to the freshmen, try to be a leader to the guys. Um, I like talking, I, I love being around the guys and honestly, I, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have done this for four years if I didn't like who I was around. Right. right. So like, you know, I really enjoyed their company. And the reason I stayed four years is because of the team, because people like you, Ivan and Kyle and coach Beachler. So like, you know, and again, like I'm saying to myself, like, yeah, I mean, this isn't the best situation, but, you know, maybe this, I can help make this uh, freshman year for some of these younger guys. Like, maybe I can make it just a little bit more tolerable or, like, oh, yeah. make, you know, help them grow, you know, because this is – I feel bad for them because they really – they kind of had an off year just because they didn't get to wrestle a lot. Like, they, yeah, you know, and they got a lot of drilling. Um, they got – they got a lot of drilling and technique, but, you know, we both know here, Ivan, that, you know, experience, you know, what you gain on the mat is where it's at, you know, and that's what you, that's what you train for, you know, is to go out there and wrestle. So, but like, again, I was just, I was committed. I wanted to stick it out. You know, I didn't want to, I didn't want to throw, um, cause you know, it, it's not just these last three years, you know, I've been wrestling, you know, since I was, you know, what, kindergarten was the first year of Biddy for me, like five yeah. years old, whatever, you know, it's, yeah, it's just like, why, you know, why quit, you know, and I credit, I credit a lot of that to my parents, um, shout, out to mom and dad. shout out to George, yeah, George and Connie, um, you guys are my, you guys are my rock, um, you know, and I talked a lot to, a lot to my dad, my dad was a high school wrestler, and you know, he, we bond a lot over that. And he's, he agreed with what I had to say, you know, he's like, you know, I really support you. And I hope, you know, we'll be, you know, be there, even though we couldn't be, but, yeah. but, you know, we support your decision. Yeah, exactly. And they really encouraged me. So uh, I'm thankful for them. Um, and I'm thankful, like, it, you know, exactly. And our, yeah, our, our, going back to our question, sorry, kind of, but like, yeah, we definitely, but we definitely had a rough, like, we've had a, like a rough year and a half or how, how long we've been doing this stuff, this COVID stuff, I don't know, but over a year. Um, but again, uh, going back to like, going back to wrestling in general and growing as a person, like, you can find the positive in about anything. And I feel like this was a real, you know, and you can look at it all, you can look at the negatives all you want, but it doesn't help you if you're looking on the negative side. You might as well look on the bright side, I say. And I think this is a good test of adversity. Um, I think I'm, I'm proud of myself. You know, I feel accomplished that I made it through this, this entire fiasco. But, you know, I had fun doing it, you know. But, you know, it's just another opportunity to grow as a man, I think, you know. And, and I think that's a better way to look at this stuff um, than look at it as a pain in the butt, which, you know, yeah, it is, but you know, it doesn't help to complain. <laughs> Never, you know, I don't think it really helps. No, and okay. and the important stuff in life, it doesn't help. So, oh, yeah. so you ready to watch oh, I, I don't. Yeah, let's let's see what we got. Oh man, let's see what we got. See if you remember them. You know what we're doing. Probably can. So, do you remember this match? So, this is like Alma of junior year.
Just go through your techniques. <laughs> so, right now, trying to split that middle. Um, my dummy self gets that arm trap there. That's why it's so hard to finish there. He gets on when he's over top, he gets a loop around my waist, catch that arm. Stay tough here. Now face in. Oh, that was a crap. That, yeah, that was a good Tim. Needed more penetration. I'm thinking, you know. Do you remember those guys? Uh, yeah, uh, I win it. I do win. Uh, I think I write them out at the end there. Um, it's like a, I think I win it by like two points. I do a, I do a Johnny man in this match. I'm pretty sure. A Johnny Mac or whatever the, the Sean's move from like a, from getting up on the legs. Oh, you just tuck and roll. Tuck and roll, yeah. I hit oh, that. I hit, I hit that this match. I'm pretty um, sure. That's gonna be a second period, right? I think. I think I was try it. I think. It was pretty boring. I think the first period. See. Yeah, I know. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Nothing. We don't want to see that. No. No. I swear I hit this somewhere. Oh, maybe this here it comes, I bet. Oh, let's get it. Yep, yep. I did not. What do you see though right now? I don't, I, yeah, I don't get, oh, but I get that take down. I didn't hit anything. Pretty much. And then I, I think I write them out the rest of the match. Uh, you know, like I think we talked about this earlier, but like I I I, I did run legs a lot, um, but then I, you know, and, and it's kind of funny because when when we were going through uh, stuff like after the season, uh, like at these like Tuesday and Thursday like practices, right? Um, Kyle's been talking about putting that boot in, but putting it short, right? So. You know, I, when he said that, it made a lot of sense to me because when I was having trouble riding, like I was having trouble with the legs, I was getting reversed a lot. My problem was, was I was sticking my leg in too deep uh, and I was sagging too much and they could get me to my hip so easily. Yeah. If I kept that leg a little shorter, like Kyle suggested, if I, you know, if that got taught before the end of my career, yeah. <laughs> I might have so saved <laughs> It's just like, oh, that would have made so much sense. But I said I did a lot of um, just a lot of legs. Um, besides that, uh, I did I did develop a nice tilt, like tight waist tilt. I liked. Um, but uh, besides that, like I don't know. I was more of a feet guy. I like doing takedowns. I know, I know, I know. I'm like so happy we got you. I'm like, oh, this guy's got some moves. You know what I'm saying. Okay, I try. Let me see if I can. So you can exit out of this when you take it. Okay. Let's see yeah, that. Little things at the bottom. Trying to find, sorry. Yeah, come over here. Technical. How do I delete the other one, though? That's well, I picked this one because of who you are. Yeah. This is my boy. This is my boy, Timmy Vlasic. Sorry, I'm coming. Let's get this boy. Uh, I do believe this is Timmy Vlasic. So, T 
Timmy was my drill partner for like two years and then he stopped wrestling. Um, it's kind of funny what we kind of got going here because Timmy actually beat me my freshman year. We wrestled at an open tournament. He beat me. And then my sophomore year, um, I beat him and then he stopped wrestling. So we kind of tied in our series. Um, <laughs> so, so he's, he's one of my roommates right now. Yeah. So he kind of, so he gives me crap all the time about it. Well, I pinned him and he, yeah, he beat me by points. I pinned him this match. Oh, I'm up. Yeah. Exactly. And like when this match was going down, I was strictly remembered like this is not, he's not beating me again. Like mm -hmm. it is not happening because I cannot live with that. Um, <laughs> yeah. But Timmy was, Timmy was a, he was a funky guy. He liked to scramble. Um, he was fun. He was fun to wrestle with. Um, yeah. Yeah, he liked this. You know, he was a little funky. He liked the, you know, he liked to roll around a little bit, and that was kind of nice to drill with, honestly, because like I really didn't have that in high school um, mm -hmm. coming in. So he definitely put me in some different positions, um, you know, and definitely grew together. Um, he's pretty good on top as well. Uh, yeah, I know. Um, unfortunately, Tim had some really bad shoulders. Um, that's mainly why he doesn't wrestle anymore. He had, I think he had, I think he's had like double uh, surgery on his, on his shoulders. So, yeah. So, so yeah, like, I know, um, um, they kind of give me crap. My roommates kind of give me crap for that. Um, they're like, yeah, he just, you just attacked his shoulders. I'm like, listen. I, yeah, well, I'm just, I, I told him, like, dude, he understood what he was getting, you know, he was like, you know, he, he walked into a college wrestling match, and like, you, you know, like, college is, a, is intense, you know, college wrestling is mean compared to high school, right? Yeah. So, like, I'm like, dude, if he didn't want to wrestle, he didn't have to step on the mat, you know, he wrestled, so that's, everything's on the table, you know, like, he is a free man, so. What what is? Uh yeah. Turd. That was definitely recording the whole time. <laughs> ah, great. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. We saw. We still. You saw. You still saw me pin him. So that's very important. Yeah, I was wondering why I couldn't exit out of it. I really was. <laughs> like, oh no. I was trying to see the full time. So this is uh this is junior year. Uh, we're at BW. Um. I think I end up I may I end up majoring this kid. Yeah, he I I had some decent shot defense. I had some decent uh like yeah, yeah. Let me tie up here. So I get a nice uh I got a take down here soon early. Um So how old are you? Right now? Yeah. And this, I'm, I'm probably, I'm probably 21, maybe 20. Yeah, 57. I wrestled 57 all four years of college. Um, yeah, it's kind, of, yeah, it's kind of weird. I came in, I was pretty chubby coming in as a freshman, honestly. I kind of filled it up a little bit. I leaned, yeah, I definitely leaned out. See here, splitting the leg, trying to not let him suck that arm in, but I let him do that. Like the only thing I know is like you like get off to the side and try to hook that leg or put him in danger, like I was doing right now. But yeah, that's why I love that danger rule. Dan yeah, it is because like you get put in so many positions that are just like kind of like locked up, right? But like, but now those used to be useless, but now you, if you get them exposed, that's a takedown. Like that's huge. It used to be as a scrambler, but all I had to do was stop you from moving 
Yeah. Yeah, exactly. No, but now, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, actually, I think. Trying, yeah. So I got a few positions like that. Yeah, I I I had like I had about three or four minutes of writing time on this kid. So I was, I just couldn't pin him, but I, I did get quite a bit of points. Let's see here, I I like I like I like Kyle. Um, he you know Kyle's very vocal. Um. I can hear him good. Like, honestly, he's probably one of the best. Like, for some reason, I can just pick out his voice like so easily for some reason, which is real nice. Um, I said Brock, I think uh, Brock Jones is in my corner right now, but I think it's Brandon Bartlooms helping him out too. Um, I like I like Brock. Brock was you know he helped out with the JV guys a lot. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. See here, I got. I'll tell you about my deep. I tell you about my. I'm really. I have a lot of fun with uh. With the set, like the sit out, or I like finding the corner um on a high crotches when guys find me um. I like uh, getting. I try to lock this up, and I think I get this here. And that's why I like this. I like this danger rule because you can do things like this. Put him in that position. He's, you know, yeah, it's, that's, you know, and it's not just about, you know, getting that takedown. It's more about the, you know, those swipes too. Like, cause once you, once you hear those swipes counting against you, you know, then and it's, it's like, it's like, well, crap, I need to do, you know, that makes that guy want to, he has to do something, you know? Yeah. It's his, you know, and most guys panic. And if he's not good enough, he will panic through that. And he usually gives up a takedown. So but I'm really comfortable sitting to your butt. I know you're you got some you're pretty familiar with uh your your style of wrestling is pretty <laughs> you just you, you just like stay on your back the entire time. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yes, you are like <laughs> this man is the most uh stressful. Uh he is pretty stressful to wrestle against, I will say that. Um in the best way. It, it's funny, honestly. Uh, you're the funnest. You're like one of the funnest guys to wrestle because I just, I, I, I sometimes I just start laughing. Um, you know, like I'm like. You did do that a couple times. I'm like I something wrong. Uh, I got one more for you. I think this one. Is this is the second to last match of my career. Second to last match. Yes. Yes, this was like, yeah, well, honestly, it's probably been longer than that, though, right? I mean, it's probably been a month, right? This is crazy, but. So, going into this match, what was your, uh, what was your goals, objectives, mindset? When? Right? When? Like, I really just. Any strategy behind it or just. You know, I just, I just, um. I kind of knew this guy was a, uh, I knew he was a 49 pounder um, and I was a 57. So I, I was hoping I could get, just get some, get some good motion with him. Um, maybe not necessarily muscle him around, but definitely pulling him. And yeah. And I just want to, you know, I wanted to assert my dominance, uh, you know, you know, get my, you know, start my match off how I wanted to start it. And, you know, and um, I really was hoping that, you know, really trying hard to get that get get around here and i had a hard time with that old match i was lucky to i think i lock up a cradle here but in a little bit yeah so Said I felt comfortable, like I knew he wasn't. I got him extended. I'm like, I know I'm in a good position. You know, I just really, you know, want to get behind and see. I'm walking up the cradle right now. Yeah. 
I really want, yeah, and then, yeah. Oh, I don't know. It's, I don't think, I don't know if it could be you, Ivan. It might, <laughs> I think it might be, though. Oh, boy. See, I like, I like, uh, I like sitting on the, I like sitting on the ankles. I like being a little annoying sometimes. Yeah, Hook, hooking that ankle. A little Navy, little Navy yeah. Just... And this is where you really got to take them, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, return them. Yep. You get a nice picking up a leg, just like Beecher. Beecher always preaches. That's his thing. Um, he's like, just pick it up. Yeah, pick it up. Oh, I, I love this. I love this move. It's probably this is the highlight of my year right here. Get a nice little oop, there it is. Yeah, I like that. Wish I could finish it a little crisper, but but yeah, it was nice. I like that. I was, I don't, I mean, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of weird looking yourself, like looking back. Cause like sometimes like, you know, like when you're wrestling, like you're not, you're not thinking this stuff yeah, sometimes. And then like, you're watching it. Like, did I really do that? Like, not like, it's like, Oh, that's so impressive. But like, if you go, yeah. Like, cause like, I'm like, I'd never, cause like, let's see, oh, I'm going to go back a little farther, but like I tap his leg and then he changed, and then I go for it. Like I don't like I don't know if that's hesitant or like I'm planning it, but it actually worked out perfect because like when I tap it, he kind of yeah he, he yeah he kind of turns like turns his knee in, and then like that that's like yeah this gives me the angle there a little bit a little better angle on it. I'm like I I don't know where I came up with that like, <laughs> but like yeah I, I was like oh yeah he like like ooh there it is, but uh. I think they can get take down. I get a bloody nose sometime part of this match. Um, yeah. If you know anything about me, um, I'm pretty much the patent on nosebleeds. Um, I wish I didn't have a nose, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, it's just like no smell whatsoever. Permanently clogged. But... Uh, but you can do that like a few times this year. Uh, most most practices actually at the end there, I was I would put in a nose plug before practice just because I knew it was going to bleed sometimes. So yeah, I'm just like you just like preemptively. Yeah, it would do work. And I did I did I did it for this match. Funny enough, but it was the other notch notch that <laughs> bled. So I I remember going to Rachel. I'm like ah, I just picked different. I just picked wrong this time, Rachel. Like. I'm like sorry like it was like 50 50 shot i didn't want to plug both my nostrils because that stinks right. can't breathe once you do that but i do not um we i just write them out i again i had like four minutes i write them out all four minutes last period yeah he was yeah he was not into it um, no, no, he was having a, he was having a rough time. Um, so even here, he doesn't get an escape. I said, I gave, keep him here. Yeah. This is it, final second. Man, I know. Yeah. Man. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, there, you know, and then I win the, my next match against the Wilmington kid. But so that was that was just an awesome day. That's an awesome way to finish your career. Um yeah, you know, it was a short season, unfortunately, like we were talking about, but um be able to like to go out two and oh or Sorry, yeah, two wins, zero losses, you know, at home. 
last match, you know, uh, it was really awesome. Um, my parents got to, got, they were outside in the parking lot watching on their phones. Um, and then they got to in the corner there, you know, how we have the glass, uh, it's like the field house, like they came up the glass and I gave them fist bumps, you know, through the, <laughs> through the glass, you know, and it was, a, it was definitely a moment I'll cherish for, a, you know, forever. It was, you know, it was pretty cool. And um, it stunk that they couldn't be there in person, but, yeah. but they were, they were there and it was, it, it meant a lot to me, you know, so. It's just like, just want to say, take a second and thank all the, thank all the faculty, all the staff, um, thank Ron Beachler, Ivan, and yeah. Coach Kyle. Um, your guys' organization, uh, I'd like to thank the athletic director here. Um, this, the organization, and you know, helped us, like, because we, because um, we got three weeks of competition, right, and, but um, not everybody wrestled all three weeks, um, like all the schools in the OAC, because a lot of, you know, a lot of schools got COVID quarantined and stuff like that, and we only had, like, one minor issue the entire year, so I really want to thank the guys, um, and everybody just like just took part in this, uh, took part in it and followed the rules, um, yeah. helped the system. And it meant the world to me, you know, to wrestle those last uh, three, you know, competitions, um, to get some competition. It meant the world to be at ONU and finish up, you know. So yeah. I got yeah, to, yeah, I just, you know, I appreciate you guys um, more than you know. So thank you guys. Oh, I, I, 10 out of 10, honestly. I did have a lot of fun. Um, no, nothing I would, you know, that's the thing. I, I, I like to live without regrets. Um, you know, even if, you know, something didn't turn out right. Um, you know, I, I just, at the end of the day, I knew I tried my hardest. Um, I tried to be the best drill partner, best student, best wrestler, best, you know, just friend I could be. Um, at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. So can't really regret it. You shouldn't really regret anything, you know. I am who I am because of what I chose in the past. So I am so. Oh, oh yeah. Full of bears on the hunt. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.